so yes guys welcome back to the channel so today's video is all about the gopro hero 12 but shooting with the cp lens i always say this gopro i know it's not a photography camera it's an action camera but as you know me i love shooting with everything whether it's a phone whether it's an action camera or a digital camera i love shooting so we're going to take the gopro out this is the hero 12 and this is the lens here what this lens does, it enhances your contrast and vibrance in shots, um, whether it's video or photography. And on the day like this where the sun's shining, let me show you guys actually. The sun is shining like crazy. I'm in Battersea Park, by the way. We've got a temple behind us. It's quite nice. We've got the River Thames behind that. But what this lens does, it enhances the contrast and the vibrance of your photos or videos. It, all, it also reduces the glare in reflection. So whether it's reflecting of water or glass, it will, redu it will reduce that. It also, it will also give you more contrast, more definition in the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This is the lens. So guys, this is footage using the lens. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the wheel and you can see it changing. Look out for the sky especially. The contrast all over, it's a lot better. See my hand there, but I'm literally spinning the wheel. And this is without the lens. This is a side by side comparison. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a few photos with this lens on and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna show you if it's worth getting. There it is. So guys, if you are new here, please like, please share, please subscribe. We're gonna take a quick walk to that temple and get some photos of that with the lens on. And let me know what you think. All right, let's go. So guys, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you my settings on the screen. So I'm gonna show you my pro tunes for the GoPro. And then I'm gonna take some, a few shots. So the first shot I'm going to get is literally of this temple. So I'm going to get a bit closer. One good thing about having a wide lens is you can get super close. So guys, sorry about that. So what I've done is I've taken, I'm going to take a shot of this temple now. Try stand dead center. And I'll put that on screen now. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna turn this filter to see if I can get a bit more contrast in the photo. So literally I'm spinning it. You may not be able to see it in the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one. Try and get my finger out of the shot. And I'll put those both on screen now. Let's walk around the other side and see if we can get another shot. In fact, before I do that, I'm going to do a quick cheat shot. I've got a bottle of water with me. I'm going to pour the water on the ground and I'm going to see if I can get a reflection of this temple literally through the GoPro. So I'll put it on the ground now. What I will do is well, I'll control the GoPro with my phone so you guys can see exactly what the screen sees. So guys, I've got the GoPro down there on the ground. This is what the GoPro sees. The only thing I don't like is the shadow that the GoPro's given off there. But, in fact, let's just get a shot like that with the guy in the shot. It looked kind of cool, to be honest. It doesn't look level, but I'll level that in post. Get another one. Let's 
let's level this out a bit more. So guys, that's the shot I'm gonna get there. You can see my hand, so I'm gonna move over a little bit, but I'm gonna pour some water down and see if I can get this temple reflecting. So guys, I'm gonna pour a bit of water on the ground, see if we can get some kind of reflection. It's very slight due to the lens that we're using, but it looks very grimy as well, but we're gonna get the shot anyway. Let me come out of the shot. What I'll do is I'll put those on screen now. So guys, I'm gonna get, well now I'm a little bit closer, I'm gonna get a shot from here. It's quite cool. What I'll do, I'll put those on screen now as I walk up. We'll get a little bit closer. So guys, let me know what you think of the lens. Is it something you would buy? Is, is it something worth having? What I'll do is I'll put a description in the link below. So what I'll do, sorry, is I'll put a link in the description below. If you guys want to check it out, purchase it, let me know what you think. So guys, I'll give you a little bit of London here. So below us is the River Thames. This is, this is still Battersea Park, but that's the River Thames, just there. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll get a shot from this side with the sun literally being blocked out. And I'll put that on screen now. So I'll, I'll just walk a few places. What I'll do guys is I'll just walk around the park and see if there's anything worth shooting. If there is, I'll take a shot and I'll show you guys what I capture. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple of photos of the bridge, just from this angle or this viewpoint. I don't know if you guys have been here before, but if you check this bridge out at night, it's absolutely amazing. It lights up and it looks really cool. What I want is I want to get a photo literally from here. I know I've got the leaves in the way, but I kind of add something to it. And I'm going to get the shot on my phone. You can see there. get one more handheld I'll put the first one on screen now now let's get this one and 
gonna put that on screen now. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please like, please share, please subscribe, please let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.